Well, we're finally on the Appalachian Trail. We stayed at the Stover Creek Shelter last night. It rained all night long. It's still kind of drizzling right now. The trail is super sloppy, super muddy. We saw more people at the Stover Creek Shelter than we've seen the entire Penhody and Benton Mackay Trail, which was to be expected. We knew there'd be a lot of people on the Appalachian Trail. We're pretty excited for that, to meet some new people and have some good experiences. We actually had uh, a couple give us a couple mountain house dinners and breakfasts, which was awesome. That food is definitely going to go to good use for us, and we definitely appreciate it. And let's just try to get through this day. It's going to be at least 13 miles. Let's see if we can't get more. So we're sitting here at the Hawk Mountain Shelter. These are our friends. Say hi, everybody. Hi. Hello. Say bye to the rain. No more rain. Yes, sunshine. Oh, it's raining again. So we're just thrilled, absolutely thrilled to be on the AT. And we've had rain for two days, and this is a great glimmer of hope here. We're seeing sun and an amazing view for the first time. Well, we were going to stay at the Gooch Mountain Shelter tonight, but we got there and there was like 35 people. And not only was the shelter completely full, but all the campsites that there was even close to being available were totally full. People were camping on side hills. So we hooked at 1.4 miles out to Gooch Gap, which is super nice, except for the fact that there's 35 mile an hour wind out here right now. There's rain and it's freezing cold. They said it was gonna be 70 degrees today. <laughs> super wrong. It was cold, it was raining, it was super windy. It's one of those days that you just got to keep your head down and try to keep going. Just pray tomorrow's a little bit better. Heading to Neil's Gap. Neil Gap! Neil Gap! Woo! on top of Preacher's Rock. We've got amazing views right now. Met an awesome guy, Ethan. He's hiking for Alzheimer's awareness. He's going to be documenting his entire journey. Check it out. It's going to be awesome. It's already an awesome start to a great day. Hiking for Dottie. So we're here at Neil's Gap. I got Tim, Dave, Tim, we're having a great time. Dave gave me some Jack Daniels. We're at a pretty crappy campsite, but it's an awesome night. Let's get some sleep. So after an amazing night's sleep and getting ready to do a 22 mile day today, this is what we wake up to. Amazing. AT Concord here. We're in Unicoi Gap. Got some trail magic. Calvary Baptist Church. A whole bunch of great people. Gives a whole bunch of food, soda, burgers. They're awesome. Just made my day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you burgers. Have one. Hey guys, we made it to the top of Trey Mountain. Whew. It was a climb. Let me tell you. But man, this is gorgeous. We've got really warm weather today. I mean, we're, we're feeling pretty good. But uh, take a look at the view from Trey Mountain.
21 miles in. We've gone 3,800 feet in elevation so far. We're not done yet. 1.8 more miles, 1,000 feet more. We'll be at our destination. Let's go. Two thousand calorie challenge. Let's do this. It's a McDonald's McCluster bomb. Man, it's been a rough couple of days. My foot is killing me. These mountains are not kind to us. But they sure are beautiful. Check them out. Mount Albert, 5,000 something feet, but it'll kick your butt. The last 300 feet were brutal. That's right, you hear about Blood Mountain. What about Mount Albert? Woo, what a climb. Hey guys, we're heading to Winding Stair Gap. We just left the uh, the shelter. It's actually the second night that we've got a shelter stay, which is pretty awesome. But uh, yeah, the weather's awesome, and we're feeling pretty good. And uh, see you out there. And here we are on Wybald Tower. Is all those giant ass mountains out there like the Tokies? Well, they're higher than everything. Do they have to be? Yeah, I can't tell you for certain. Oh my god. They stay really high. Look at that giant. 